When you record a video on your drone, a lower quality version can also be saved within the DJI Fly app. To enable or disable this feature, tap on the three dot menu, then go to the camera tab and scroll all the way down. And here's where you can disable or enable cache when recording. You can also change how much space it takes up before overwriting the older files. You can view these cached video files by either tapping on the album icon on the bottom left, or if you're in the camera view, you can hit the media button here. Since I'm actively connected to the drone, I can see the high quality video recordings on the drone itself, but in the app album, this is where the cached video files are. These files are stored within the DJI Fly app and are only accessible in the app. So if we wanted to copy them out of the app, first select one or more videos that you want to copy and then hit the share button and OK. Those files have been copied to the internal storage of the RC Pro. If I go to the home screen by pressing and holding the back button and rocking the 5D button up, opening the gallery, we can see the files I exported from the Fly app to the internal storage of the RC Pro. If I wanted to copy them to an SD card, at first I tried to select them and then hit the share button. But this only allows Bluetooth sharing. So I'm going to go to the home screen and then open the files app and then navigate to the internal storage, DCIM, and then inside the DJI album, here are the two files that I just exported. From here, I can press and hold to select the files I want to copy, and then hit the three dot menu on the top right, and copy to, then I'll navigate to my SD card, and then I can create a new folder, and then hit copy. Now those files are on my SD card, which I can check right now. In this folder that I created, I see both files that I just copied. To delete cached files individually, go to the app album within the DJI Fly app, tap the check mark on the top right, and then select the file or files you want to delete, and then hit the trash can icon to delete. This deletes only the files that are contained within the DJI Fly app. The gallery will still have all the exported videos that were copied from the DJI Fly app. In fact, the gallery shows all the files that are in the internal storage, as well as the files that I've copied to the SD card. So if I open one of these files and look at the details, I can see that it's in the folder that I made on the SD card, whereas the details of the other video shows me that it's in the internal storage. If you want to free up space on the RC Pro's internal storage while keeping the files on the SD card, you have to be careful about which ones you select when in the gallery view. An easier way to make sure you don't delete the wrong ones is to safely eject the SD card. In the Files app, navigate to the SD card and then on the top right, hit the three dot menu, Storage Settings and Eject. Now that the SD card has been ejected, going back to the gallery, I can just delete those videos that are still on the internal storage. To clear the cache from the DJI Fly app, go to Profile, Settings, Storage, and Clear Cache. Now you can tap Clear Album Data to delete all your cached video files within the Fly app. If you'd like to save cached files directly to the SD card instead of the internal storage, you might be tempted to format the SD card in the controller, which is generally a good idea. But at least from my experience, when I went to format the SD card, I was not able to read the SD card on a Mac computer. So for this reason, I did not format the SD card within the RC Pro. Instead, I formatted it on a Mac using the XFAT file system. Within the Fly app, go to your Profile, Settings, and Storage. Now you can change storage location to the SD card, and then hit Switch. It will move all your cached video files to the SD card, and any future videos will be cached to the SD card. However, 
you still have to go through the process of exporting the files to your album from the DJI Fly app. The advantages of using an SD card as your storage location include having more space on your internal storage for things like screen recordings, as well as not having to go through the extra step of copying the exported files from your internal storage to your SD card, since they'll already be on the SD card after exporting from the Fly app. One thing to note is if you're using your SD card as your storage location, if you eject the card while the RC Pro is still turned on, it will default back to the internal storage, even if you put the SD card back in. So if you're planning to go this route, you might want to just turn off the RC Pro, remove the SD card, copy your files, and then put it back in before turning on the RC Pro. That way it will continue to use the SD card as its storage location. One quick warning, after moving the storage location from the internal storage to the SD card, I checked that all my cached files were in the app album, which they were. But when I moved it back to internal storage, this pop-up warned me that nothing will be copied back. And as you can see, there are no cached video files in the app album. However, they are not lost. If you switch back to the SD card as your storage location, then in the app album, you will see all those previously recorded cached video files. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you have anything else to add, and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone.